A sister asks, and she says, my husband is addicted to porn. He does not give me my rights. I caught him red-handed. He apologized, but still he never gives it up and also cheats on me with other women. What should I do? There are two ways of dealing with this scenario. And unfortunately, the rate is growing among men who are becoming addicted to watching pornography. And this is attributed to a number of factors. The greatest among them all is the lack of fear of Allah. See, knowledge is associated with fear of Allah, real knowledge. I could be possessing a PhD in Sharia law or in tafsir. I could be one of the greatest da'is around. Yet, this does not mean that I am knowledgeable of Allah because I have to walk the talk in the sense that if my knowledge does not result in me fearing Allah truly, when I'm uh, 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 at public and when I'm on my own, then my knowledge is not genuine and it's not authentic. The majority of people don't have and possess this knowledge of Allah that results in them fearing Allah Azza wa when they are alone. And this is why we find a lot of men and also women who do not have anything to repel them and to stop them from falling into sin. If they don't have the fear of Allah Azza wa Jal, then the sky is the limit. And this is why your husband is falling in such a sin. So in order to create a solution, we need to solve the core of the problem, which is being far away from Allah. So if you look into scrutinizing your husband thoroughly, you'd find that probably he doesn't pray in the masjid or he prays on and off, that he does not observe the voluntary prayers. He does not fast voluntary. He does not uh, do a lot of good deeds. And probably there are a number of other sins that he's involved in. Unfortunately, you fail to detect these because they're not usually related to you. What's related to you is his addiction to pornography. Whether he's good or bad with his parents, this is his problem. You don't ask about this. Whether he does pray in the masjid or not, this is his personal preference. It's between him and Allah. But when it comes to pornography and it's something that is related to your own, uh, to your own honor and dignity, then you ask about it. Secondly or thirdly, I've lost count. Who's counting, by the way? Uh, uh, thirdly, you have to look into what drives him to watching pornography. And a lot of the sisters ask, shall I divorce him? Shall I leave him? Shall I do this and that? And I always say, this is not the solution. Addiction to pornography is a problem, but it is not a major problem like fornication or committing adultery. However, in my opinion, if you do your job as a wife and truly exhaust him in bed through your own ways of making it lucrative and seductive, but really exhausting him in bed, he will not think of watching any of this filth again. The moment he opens it, he says, it's, it's nothing to watch. I'm satisfied. I'm fulfilled sexually. But when he is in dire need and you're always uh, uh, having a headache and you're always having problems, then this is problematic. A is for Allah, nothing but Allah. Ba is the beginning of Bismillah. Ta is for Taqwa, bewaring of Allah. And Tha is for Thawab, a reward.